Hi, my name is Rick Jordan. If we're meeting for the first time, you can go to the About section of this YouTube channel and read just a brief bio. And below this video are some ways that you can help if you would be interested in helping support what's going on with this YouTube channel. By the way, in the background of this video, there's this strange looking halo of light. I don't know what it is. I'm not technically smart enough to resolve it, but I can assure you that the halo is not emanating from me, just in case you were wondering. Talk 23 is a mixture of metaphors. It's called light cycle quicksand. Here we go. In John's gospel located in the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, John's gospel, chapter 8, verse 12, Jesus says, I myself am the light of the world. People whose lives revolve around me will no longer be living in darkness, but will have within themselves the light that produces life. It's one of my favorite verses. It says so much about Jesus, about us, about life. This one verse is creatively positioned as kind of a hinge in John's gospel. Immediately before this hinge, this verse, is this story about some religious leaders grabbing a woman in the act of adultery and throwing her down in front of Jesus as an attempt to trap him. Uh, the woman was living in the darkness of her lifestyle until Jesus saved her from execution and loved her out of her darkness by not condemning her and really giving her a new lease on life, capital L. And in the same moment, Jesus demonstrated to everybody that the woman's accusers were the ones who were still very much in the dark. Remember what he said, those of you who are without sin, uh, cast the first stone. And then immediately after verse 12, uh, there's this argument between Jesus and these religious leader people who thought they were in the light and Jesus was in the dark. And in that point-counterpoint kind of argument, Jesus again demonstrates who is really in the light and who is really in the darkness. I want to take John 8 verse 12 and apply it um, in maybe a rather unusual way. In previous talks, I have confessed that my imagination's hair has been on fire for as long as I can remember. I have struggled with high anxiety from childhood on. Um, and then I was in a wreck and sustained multiple concussions, and I'm dealing with that. Um, and on December 11th, 2020, um, I had a complete nervous breakdown, medical breakdown, while I was pastoring, which is why I can't function in any official way as a pastor anymore. Um, since my breakdown, I have learned so much about anxiety, about panic, about how anxiety had been in charge of me for so long. And really, the, the breakdown, in, in a way, did me a favor because uh, I am enlightened in ways I never had before. I want us to think through what a cycle looks like, C-Y-C-L-E, and, and I'm talking about a cycle that goes like 
this. My anxiety cycle is more clear to me than it ever has been before. Um, before December 11th, I think when my anxiety was rising, I didn't know it. I wasn't aware of it until it had reached the point of no return. In a, in a cycle, like in a roller coaster loop to loop, once you reach a certain point, you're just gonna go through the whole thing. And so while anxiety basically had me, this was me. I was going through this cycle and then everything blew up. And, and since then, um, I am more aware of God's presence in Christ than I ever have been before. And the way I've chosen to work on my anxiety issues, in addition to doctors and lots of big ticket prescription medication, um, is to just really, really dwell in a conscious awareness of Christ's presence. And that's what has been so enlightening to me. The Christ who indwells me has opened my eyes in, in ways that I celebrate so many times during the day. I, I understand my anxiety cycle like never before. Because of that, I can see things coming. And, and now, when it just begins, when, when my anxiety starts taking off, I know much sooner than I did before, and I'm able to do some things you know, deep breathing or uh, biofeedback, uh, somatic grounding, all and underneath all of that, I am just praying and paying attention to the nuances of God's Spirit in me, directing me. Um, let's go back to John 8, 12. Jesus says, I myself am the light of the world. People whose lives revolve around me will no longer be living in darkness, but will have within themselves the light that produces life. So light, cycle, quicksand. I, I've been thinking about other people in my life and recognizing that for some people it's, it's not like this because Things don't emotionally go whoop, like that. It's more like they go down. And so I've been thinking about quicksand. I've never been in quicksand. I don't ever want to be in quicksand. But I've watched a lot of cartoons, old cartoons featuring quicksand. And I kind of know how it works. You're walking along and all of a sudden... It, it grabs you and it, and it takes you under. Well, let's think about that in the same way as I, I just talked about cycles. With, with quicksand, um, like depression or really complicated, nasty grief, uh, you're walking along and then your, your footing changes and it grabs you and it pulls you under. So what if John 8 verse 12 is just as true if, if that's your story as it is true if your story looks more like my cycle? If I'm correct, then the Christ who indwells you can give you light about what happens, what grabs you, what pulls you under into that thick, oozy, quicksand darkness. Because it works the same. 
correct. Um, once you get past the point of no return, you're going down and, and you're going to be down for a while. So what if God can do the same thing with you? Open your eyes to what happens first when your footing changes and you start to go down. I think what happens is the same thing that happens with my cycles to where I can, I can back down before I have to go through cluster panic attacks and all of that with depression or grief or, or other kinds of emotional angst. I, I believe that the light of the world can function in us in such a way that we recognize when we're starting to lose our footing, when, when we have stepped in some emotional quicksand and we can reverse course before we reach the point of no return. Light, cycle, quicksand. Let me go through that verse one more time. And it's Jesus saying, I myself am the light of the world. People whose lives revolve around me will no longer be living in darkness, but will have within themselves the light that produces life. Speaking for myself without life in the presence of the indwelling Christ, I am just stumbling around in the dark. But walking in the light of Christ enlightens me. May that be true of you as well. Grace and peace.